In this video, I will share with you 10 essential steps to become Cloud Security Consultant, which is my current role. And although it's not beginner friendly, I will outline a path from a start, go through the most important aspects and give you personal recommendation that can potentially lead to six figure salary in Cloud Security. As I said, Cloud Security Consulting is not beginner friendly. You will have to transition from a different role. My personal experience was like this. I started as network engineer, working there for two years. Then I pivoted into security, working as security analyst at operation center. I needed to have three years of experience working in IT before I was able to transition into cloud security consulting. Now your journey might look differently, but the skills and knowledge you need to obtain to be successful as cloud security consultant remains the same. The very first step is to build very strong foundational knowledge about operating system, virtualizations, file systems, permissions and many others. Ideally, you gain skills related to this stage as you work in your first IT related job. If you are starting completely from a scratch, CompTIA A plus is your best bet. Study the exam objectives and maybe even consider taking the certification too if you are not working in IT yet. Once you have good foundational knowledge, it's time to develop your skills in networking. You don't need to gain any hands-on experience, but you should be aware of different networking concepts, such as IP addressing, LAN, OSI model, TCP handshake, and others. Generally speaking, exam objectives for CompTIA Network Plus are a good place to start for building your networking knowledge. After networking, it's time to move and build your skills in Linux operating system. As you aim to become cloud consultant, you should gain some hands-on experience in the cloud. This is great opportunity to spin up virtual machines in the cloud and learn the basics with Linux operating system. Don't just rush through this step and spend significant portion of your time to develop this fundamental skill. Take notes and document your progress. Cloud environments heavily rely on Linux based systems. Understand the command line interface, file system structure, user permission, and basic system administration task. If you want to continue with the certification route, CompTIA Linux Plus is your best choice. Now to the most important step, number four, which is security. As cloud security consultant, you need to have a deep knowledge about different aspects of cybersecurity. Ideally, you gain this experience while working at your job related to cyber. This could be working as security analyst at operation center, for example, which was my personal experience. Or perhaps you are already working in the cloud as cloud security engineer and you are looking to pivot into less technical role. Regardless, I would highly recommend you to gain some real life exposure related to cybersecurity before jumping into cloud security consulting. I know it can be difficult to break into cybersecurity and it's not exactly beginner friendly. Let's be honest, you need to have a lot of knowledge related to different domains. That's why if you are just starting on your journey, I would highly recommend you to get a security related certification. Ideally, it's CompTIA Security Plus. The exam objectives are brilliant for anyone starting in cybersecurity and it will help you to get your first job. I have also put out a list of key topics related to security if you don't want to or can't afford to take the certification. Once you are done with the security part, it's time to dive deep into another crucial skill, which is cloud. It shouldn't be shocking that you absolutely need to have comprehensive understanding of cloud technologies. There are many different cloud providers available on the market. AWS, GCP or Azure are your best choice, as you will find the most job postings for them. Although this role is not as technical as cloud security engineer, I would still recommend you to gain some hands-on experience. Ideally, you gain it from your current IT job. Try to find an opportunity to work on cloud-related project inside your company. Ideally, build something which will solve a problem your company is facing. For example, when I was working as a network engineer, I have developed a Python script, which was able to investigate major outages which affected multiple locations. In my opinion, this is the best way to learn any skill especially cloud related skills. If you can't, certifications are your next best option to get fundamental knowledge. Each provider has many different certification paths related to security. So make sure to check them out. 
Number six on the list is coding. But to be honest with you, I have considered putting it out from the list because I don't think you need a practical hands-on experience with any programming language. You could spend some time to learn top programming languages instead and their uses. That could be beneficial to you as you will collaborate with different teams. For example, Python is used in IoT, networking, AI, machine learning. JavaScript, on the other hand, is suitable for web development. Just gaining some basic overview will be sufficient for this role. And instead, spend your time and effort learning automation and deployment, specifically infrastructure as a code. Those are essential skills for streamlining cloud security operations and improving efficiency. Export tools like AWS CloudFormation, Azure Resource Manager, or ideally Terraform to automate the deployment and configuration of cloud resources. To be said, you don't need to have a comprehensive understanding how to deploy each service related to security inside the cloud. Instead, spend some time learning the concepts, the advantages, and some shortcomings that you might face. Set up GitHub profile to present yourself and create Azure DevOps organization. After that, you can move to the risk assessment stage. These steps involve learning how to conduct risk assessment tailored for cloud environments, identifying potential threats, vulnerabilities, and what could be potential impact for organization. You could also gain some skills related to cloud penetration testing tools. Overall, as cloud security consultant, you need to identify gaps in security and come up with solutions to protect organization's key assets. Therefore, you will also need different soft skills in this role. This involves strong communication skills to effectively convey complex technical information to non-technical people, problem-solving skills to analyze complex security challenges and propose effective solutions. Time management is another, as you will most likely work on multiple projects at the same time. Personally, as an introvert, I still struggle with my communication skills. And the only recommendation I can give you are my two favorite books. The first one is How to Win Friends and Influence People. And the second one is Human Hacking, Win Friends, Influence People and Leave Them Better Off for Having Met You. There is a lot of knowledge inside those books. And personally, it helped me a lot. But I'm still struggling and learning to improve my communication skills. So if there is any book or resources that you would recommend me or help you, please share those with me in the comments. I will appreciate it a lot. All right. The last step, the last piece of the puzzle is to build your hands-on experience with cloud security projects. This will help you to get noticed by the recruiters. And at the same time, it will allow you to present your experience and skills. There are tons of different projects you could work on. And if you are looking for the inspiration, check out AWS Architecture Center or Azure Architecture site. You will find hundreds of different architectures related to security that you could implement. I have also put a course on Udemy with different cloud security related projects such as setting up Honeypot in cloud environment or creating Microsoft Sentinel, a cloud native solution to identify cybersecurity threats. I also plan to release a video covering different cybersecurity related projects that you could even include on your CV. So make sure to subscribe if you are interested in that. Other than that, you will find this roadmap on my Discord channel with links to resources where to learn all the skills we have talked about. Personally, I love working as cloud security consultant because it allows me to work with different technologies, work in different environments and come up with different solutions. I would highly recommend this position to anyone who likes to solve problems and doesn't mind learning new aspects of cybersecurity. That's everything from me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content about cloud security in the future.